Hello all, welcome to this new video where we are going to discuss the basics behind shell and backseat test. Okay, this is very short video where we are going to cover what is backseat, what is backseat test, what is shell test, whether we can combine both these tests or not and what are the various conditions when we perform this test uh, uh, independently or while combining. So let us start with the video and uh, let us look into few basics. Now before uh, getting into the pressure test details which are given in the API 598, let us look into various uh, clauses as well as the procedures which has to be followed for shell test and backseat test. So this is what we are going to cover here. The shell test shall be made by applying the pressure inside the valve assembled with the valve ends closed so here the valve ends are closed the valve partially open and any packing gland tight enough to maintain the test pressure so this is the basic thing which we need to follow assembled valve both ends are closed valve partially open and any packing gland is tight enough to maintain the test pressure this is basic thing which we need to perform when while performing the shell test therefore except for bellows seal while testing the stuffing so this is what we need to do before performing the test okay similarly for backseat test what is happening this is also required for all valves except for uh, bellows seal valves that have backseat feature it shall be performed by applying the pressure inside the assembled valve with valve ends closed valve fully open here it was the partially opened well and the packing gland loose so this is the difference between two here what we are doing valve is fully open in shell test it is partially open here the packing gland is loose here the packing gland is tight enough to maintain the test pressure okay again if now if you see back test during back test what we are doing the this is the back seat Okay, which we are testing the pink color this is back seat this is the ceiling around uh, stem if you see back seat is a sitting arrangement inside the bonnet it provides a seal between stem and bonnet so it is inside the bonnet and it is providing sealing between stem and the bonnet this we need to take uh, keep in mind while understanding what is back seat test First, we need to understand the definition where the back seat is and what is the purpose of this back seat. It is, it is sealing the stem from bonnet. Okay, the valve packing when valve is fully open, back seat are often applied in gate and glow valve. So that is why these two valves we require this back seat test. The primary reason for back seating facility is to prevent wear of packing rings. Okay, to save these things, this is provided to seal the stem from bonnet and this fluid. So this is how uh, we are doing the backseat test and shell test. If the backseat test is performed after the shell test, okay, we need to perform these two tests for suppose gate and uh, glow valve. If it is performed after the shell test, the packing shall be installed or packing gland retightened after the backseat test as we have discussed here these gland and packing will be loose or not installed okay if it is it be, but in shell test we have to uh, have these as much as tight so if it is performed after that then again we have to loosen it then again we have to tighten it after the back test backseat test for valves which are uh, less than four inch size backseat test may be combined with the shell test okay we can combine both these tests when volumetric devices are used to monitor leakage from shell and back seat. when tested by this method the packing shall be loose okay when we are combining these two tests then packing will be loose although we have discussed in shell test it has to be tight enough to take the pressure but for four inch and below we can combine these two tests and we can keep it loose 
so this is how backseat and uh, shell test can be performed and these are the definition few of the definition to understand the things what we are going to do so thank you for watching see you in the next part